What is up YouTube and welcome to this Watchmen slash DC Rebirth slash Superman video. Okay, so that's out of the way. So this will actually have spoilers for the latest issue of Action Comics. And we may also cover some Flash Comics stuff as well. So if you don't want that spoil, if you haven't read that yet, I know it's Friday. I know that the weekend's coming in. A lot of people like myself like to catch up on the weekend with their comics. I don't want to spoil anyone. So that's out of the way. Again, so let's jump in. So ever since DC Rebirth started, well, the huge, huge thing that was revealed was that the Watchman is somehow, somehow involved in the DC Rebirth new publishing initiative. And it's been about a year, and we're actually getting some big news as to what is happening. The reveals and clues have been drip-fed to us. We have had a lot of interesting things actually revealed. I have covered this all within this playlist so you can check that out. Now, the huge thing that has happened here in Action Comics is that, well, the New 52 Superman has actually come back to life and then merged with the kind of post-crisis Superman, and it's mad. So we've actually got these two together. They have a combined shared history We've got the look of the new 52 Superman with all the memories, etc. intact of the, well, entire continuity. It is absolutely insane and is having far-reaching effects as to what is actually happening. And over in The Flash, we actually have a split into Reverse Flash, who has memories of the pre-Flashpoint and also the Flashpoint storyline and actually says, I remember the Batman, Thomas Wayne, he killed me in the Flashpoint. So this is huge, huge stuff coming out of this. So it's all going to wonder what this actually means. And well, it has big implications, like I said. However, we've had Mr. Oz who a lot of people, including myself, are thinking is Ozymandias of the incredibly amazing Watchmen comic. Now, this is big, big, big stuff, but the, well, Mr. Oz hasn't actually referenced anyone else from the Watchmen, hasn't referenced his own universe until now. So at the end of the recent issue of Action Comics, Ozymandias, as you can see in this image here, says that is it over or is there more, considering what had been set in motion. Now, what has actually been set in motion? We don't actually know. We know 10 years has been taken from this, and it does incredibly start to look like that either Oz or Dr. Manhattan actually created the new 52 universe. And he says here in this final panel, is it Superman who has the final say or him? Now you can see there, you can see the moon and then you can see Mars. Now obviously Mars is a huge, huge thing for Dr. Manhattan. And throughout the Watchmen storyline, he set up his base. I recommend you watch or film, I'd say, the film is on Netflix, Watchmen movie. I'm expecting a few hate comments there, but I really did actually enjoy it. The Manhattan actually creates a base on Mars, which is pretty, pretty cool, obviously, because he's so incredibly super powered. Now, at the end of Watchmen, we had Dr. Manhattan tell Oz that he wants to go and create some new life. And in Before Watchmen, we actually see him start this process which is really interesting and I have covered that in previous videos. Part of me is now thinking that well what's going on here is that he's now currently residing on Mars after creating this new 52 universe or possibly even the entire DC universe which is a far-fetched thing would be something too much in my opinion and we have seen him also 
at the end of the Darkseid War, take out Metron and have the Mobius chair with no one sitting on it. So I think that from his base on Mars, he is orchestrating this whole entire thing and Oz is actually working with him. Now, let me know what you think in the comments about this. Is this far-fetched? Is this theory crazy that he is on Mars? But the fact that we see this and him kind of referenced as him and we see Mars zoomed in on that same panel, it's too much for me to ignore in my opinion. So that's it for this video. Please drop a like, please do subscribe, and I'll see you soon, and goodbye.